in Islam, men and women are equal. And according to a hadith, which is mentioned in Sahih Bukhari, volume number eight, in the book of Adab, chapter number two, hadith number two, a person came to the Prophet, Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, Muhammad peace be upon him, and asked him that who is the person who deserves the maximum love and companionship in this world? And the Prophet said, your mother. The man asked, who next? The Prophet said, your mother. The man asked, after that who? The Prophet repeated for the third time, your mother. The man asked, after that who? Then the Prophet said, your father. In short, 75%, three-fourths of the love and companionship of the children are due to the mother. 25%, one-fourth of the love and companionship goes to the father. In short, the mother gets the gold medal. She gets the silver medal, as well as the bronze medal. The father has to be satisfied with the mere consolation prize. These are the teachings of Islam. In Islam, men and women are equal. But equality does not mean identicality. There are many misconceptions, especially when women are concerned in Islam. Many Muslims and non-Muslims, they have a misconception, which can be removed if you understand the authentic sources, Quran and the Sahih Hadith correctly. As I mentioned, men and women are overall equal. But equality does not mean identicality. Let me give you an example. That if in a class of students, two students, student A and B, they come out first, and both acquire 80 marks out of 100. But if you analyze the answer sheet, there are 10 questions, each carrying 10 marks. In the first answer, student A gets 9 out of 10. Student B gets 7 out of 10. So in question one, student A has a degree of advantage than student B. In question two, student B gets 9 out of 10. And student A gets 7 out of 10. In question two, Student B has a degree of advantage than student A. In the remaining eight questions, both get eight out of 10. And if you total the marks of both the students, both get 80 out of 100. So if you analyze, both student A and B are overall equal. But in the answers to some questions, student A has a degree of advantage. In answers to some questions, student B has a degree of advantage. But overall, both are equal. Similarly, in Islam, men and women are equal. Brotherhood in Islam does not only mean that the same sexes are equal. The universal brother in Islam means that besides race, caste, and creed, even the sex are overall equal. Men and women are equal in Islam. But in some aspects, the men have a degree of advantage. In some aspects, the women have a degree of advantage. But overall, both are equal. For example, if a robber enters my house, I will not say that I believe in women's rights, I believe in women's liberation, therefore my sister, my wife, my mother should go and fight the robber. Because Allah says in Surah Nisa chapter 4 verse 34 that Allah has given men more strength than the other. That men have more strength than the women. So where strength is concerned, the men have a degree of advantage. So since they have been given more strength, it's their duty to protect the women. Here, the men have a degree of advantage. Where love and companionship is concerned, where children should give to the parents, the women have a degree of advantage. As I mentioned earlier, the mother gets three times more respect and companionship than the father. Here, the women have a degree of advantage. But overall, if you analyze, men and women are equal in Islam. And for more details, you can refer to my video cassette. I had given a talk on women's rights in Islam, modernizing outdated. It's part one. That's the lecture. And part two, this is a question under session. These discuss the issue in great detail, and many misconceptions which are there in the minds of the human being have been removed here. And in this talk, 
have divided the women's rights in Islam under six broad headings, spiritual rights, economic rights, social rights, legal rights, educational rights, and the political rights. And I've described there that overall men and women are equal. The Western society claiming to uplift the women when it speaks about women's liberalization, it's nothing but a disguised form of exploitation of a body, deprivation of a soul, and degradation of honor. The Western society claiming to uplift the women have actually degraded her to a status of concubines, butterflies, and mistresses, which are mere tools in the hands of pleasure seekers and sex marketers hidden behind the colorful screen of art and culture. In the name of art and culture, the Westerners, they're selling their daughters, they're selling their mothers. And you see it very common. In most of the ads, invariably, you have to find a woman. You see an ad of a motorcycle, how many women ride motorcycle, yet you see a woman in the ad of a motorcycle. In the ad of a car, percentage-wise, a small percentage of women drive cars, yet you'll find a woman in the ad of a car. And I was told about a very famous advertisement ad of the BMW. You know BMW car? It's in competition with Mercedes. The youngsters, they prefer BMW. It has a better pickup. It is fast. Someone told me in one of the very famous ads of BMW, there was a woman who was standing in front of the car with a bikini, and the ad read, test driver now. Who, the girl or the car? So in the name of women liberalization, they are selling their daughters. They are selling their mothers. We love our daughters. We love our mothers. We love our wives. If the hijab subjugates the woman and protects her, we love this subjugation. We love this subjugation and we love this protection. If this is your freedom in the name of women liberalization, selling your body, selling yourself, we are very happy with our religion. Islam has prescribed women hijab to protect her and to uplift her. And we see today the same thing is happening in the Western world. Same thing what happened in Greek civilization, Roman civilization, women in the name of liberalization, art, culture, modeling, fashion, TV, all this you see, what are they doing? Going back to the old age.